You probably see the, uh, no, the two logos right there, ladies and gentlemen. Of two of the most, I guess you could say, popular American Sonic cartoons. Now, I just talked about in the previous video about there being a connection. And I will say this. One thing that Sonic Underground did that Saturday AM never did, but only did when the comics took over the Saturday AM adventures and expanded on them into their own original adventures, was on to more of their own original adventures than what they had, or what they already had, I should say. One thing that, one thing that Sonic Underground did and the comics did that Saturday AM didn't do is they did what was known as dimensional crossing basically alternate world crossings. And I was surprised I admit this when Sonic Underground took advantage of this. I was surprised when they took advantage of this by having them go in to an, a world, almost like a future world or an opposite world, a world that was very similar to the anti-verse in the comics. Very similar, with the roles reversed. And then I like how they kind of had them go back in time to almost a Roman Empire-like dimension. Now you might say to yourself, well, what does this have to do? Well, what, does have to, what are you trying to get to, Brian? What does this have to do with what you're saying? Take down right here. It says Sonic Underground Show. Writers, it says Sonic Underground Show. Oh, never capitalized with a sad AM crossover. Or with or basically it says Sonic Underground should have had a crossover with Sat AM. Yeah. That's right. Sonic Underground, when it was on, you you had the show basically do this. Like I said, you had them do these uh these interdimensional crossings, if you will, like I said, very similar to what you read in the comics thanks to the Oracle, if you will, and yet, you never had the opportunity for them to cross over into the Satyam universe. Because basically in the comics, I think it was in uh, Sonic, a Sonic Super Special, which also included, um, I think, the first part or something of a crossover with Sabrina, that's right, they actually had Sonic and Sally cross over with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. In this same super special, they showed that the Sonic Underground world is a different dimension. So you would think, you know, they could capitalize on that. Even, now I, I understand the episodes and everything were already made and being released before this issue, before the Sonic super special back then even came out. But to me, I always look at this like they had the opportunity to capitalize on something, and yet they didn't do it. I mean, I was, honestly, folks, I was always hoping for one of those episodes that came on, that eventually they would have an episode or something like a two-part or whatever, where they would cross over with the Sat AM cast. But they never did it. And to me, it's like, you, it, to me, it just boggles the mind why they didn't capitalize on it. But then again, I can understand why. I can understand why they didn't capitalize. I can understand they felt that perhaps, you know, Saturday AM being more popular and being more well known, that it might take away from what Underground was and fans would want Saturday AM back. Maybe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, and you know what, maybe, maybe that's a good decision on their part. Maybe they felt that they needed to make sure the show didn't cross over because of that, but still, they had this opportunity. I mean, you take a look at some of the shows that crossed over with various shows in recent years and stuff. I mean, it's, okay, who's not... Who has not been a fan of Marvin Mi of uh, Martin Mystery? Who's not been a fan of that? Who's not been a fan of Totally Spies? 
Both are different shows, but both used an episode or two to cross over with each other. I'm not lying. Both used an episode to cross over with each other. Now, you think that's something, you take a look at Disney. Disney used the Lilo and Stitch series to cross over with not one, not two, but four of the Disney Channel shows. Proud Family was one. American Dragon. Recess, which was out years before Lilo and Stitch the series. And Kim Possible. What more can you ask for? The point is, they had an opportunity to do something like that, and they didn't capitalize on it. Now, I don't know if Lynn Jensen or the late Ben Hurts, God rest his soul, thought about it. But if they did, they should have done, went and capitalized on it. They should have gone and made it a reality. But unfortunately, they didn't. And to me, I think it would have been a great crossover for the show. And I think, in my honest opinion, it would have basically helped Sonic Underground out. It would have helped them out. I mean, who would not want to see interaction between Sonya and Sally? Who would not want to see that interaction? Who would not want to see an interaction between Sonya and Bunny, or Manic and Bunny, or Manic and Antoine, or Manic and Rhoda, or Manic and Tails, or Sonya and Tails, or Sonya and Antoine? You kind of get the idea. And who wouldn't like to see interaction between both Robotniks? And heck, if you want to, throw in Scratch and Grounder in there for us to align themselves with the Sadie Ann Robotnik. And who would not want to see those Sleet and Dingo uh, encounter, in, uh, interact with Scratch and Grounder if you just wanted to throw them in there for the heck of it? Or if you wanted to see the underground swap bots interact with the Sadie Ann swap bots. You kind of get my, 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 my point, right? I mean, Disney even did this with Hercules and Aladdin. Well, after re the Aladdin series was over and King of Thieves was over, they still had them cross over with Hercules. And Hercules in the Arabian Night. And they didn't have to do that, but yet they did because they wanted to follow up on something that they did with Return of Jafar. Again, to me, they had, to me, this is one cro animated crossover I would have loved to see happen. I mean, heck, even Disney was considering, I know I'm using Disney as an example, but even they were considering, believe it or not, they were considering crossing over Rescue Rangers with Darkwing Duck during Darkwing Duck's the, uh, debut year. I am not joking, folks. I am not lying. So, to me, if they're willing to do that, if Disney was willing to do that, then there's no doubt that Sega and Dig should have allowed this to happen. I mean, you have so many, they had those opportunities to do it in animation, and yet the crossover that I felt, I believe, honestly, this, I'm going to be, I'm going to shoot with you right now, I'm going to shoot straight with you right now. I truly believe there was a crossover with Sat AM ready ready and willing to go, ready to be, or ready to be aired, released, but basically ready to go, I should say. In my honest, I mean, I mean honest, I'm honest, I truly believe they had an episode with a crossover with Sad AM, ready to go, ready to be aired, before Underground was cancelled. I truly do. And I know they could say, well, only 40 episodes were meant to be made, and maybe so, but I think there were more made. They just, to me, I think they just said that because they don't want people to know the truth. I mean, why do you think Ian Flynn is going to go out of his way, whether you like the guy or not, to do an implage in a four, possibly with four issues of Sonic Universe? Why do you think he's doing that? Because I think even he knows, because he was a fan, just like we were when this, this show came out, even he knows and believes that there were probably more episodes planned, but, they, but because the series got canceled, they never came to fruition. 
And I truly believe a crossover with Saturday M was ready to go, if not in its final phases of production and ready to be released. I truly believe that, and I know I'm not the only one here on YouTube at all these forums and stadiums that truly believe that. I feel, I, I just feel it in my bones as a fan, a long time, 20 year plus fan of the franchise as, as a whole, that this was going to happen, that there was going to be a, a, a crossover. I just feel it. I just feel it in my bones, you know what I'm saying? I feel it in my heart, I feel it as a fan. And again, I know I'm not the only one. So. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Sonic Underground should have had a crossover with Saturday M? Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Sonic Underground cartoon should have had a crossover with Saturday M? Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment, video respond if you like. And I will talk to you later. All, all later. But again, shooting straight with you. I truly believe in my heart there was, going, there was a crossover ready to go, if not in its final stages before the show was canceled. So let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all later.